MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 25 Normal Force Experience by a Coin All right, let's delve into the question. John presses his finger down on a coin and exerts a force of 2 newtons. The coin has a mass of 5 grams. What is the normal force on the coin exerted by the table in which John presses against? Is it A, 1.995 newtons, B, 2.005 newtons, C, 2.05 newtons, or D, 1.95 newtons? I'll give you a moment to think and press pause if you need to. All right, hopefully you had enough time to think and work out your equation. Now let's delve into the solution. All right, so what we can do is craft a free body diagram around this coin to elucidate the forces acting on it. The forces included would be the gravitational force of the coin, so the mass of the coin times the acceleration due to gravity, the force of push that uh, John is applying on the coin, as well as the normal force applied by uh, the surface of the table to the coin. Okay? The normal force is the force that keeps the object from sinking into the surface, and it's always large enough to negate any sinking or acceleration down into the surface. That's just a little bit of background on the normal force in case you're not familiar with that term. The force from John and the gravitational force pushes down on the coin while the normal force um, pushes up on the coin. And since the coin is in static equilibrium, uh, the sum of the forces or F net is eventually uh, going to be equivalent to zero, okay? So the first thing that we need to keep in mind is that we're going to have to convert the mass of the coin into kilograms. So we're given an amount of five grams, and if you divide that by a thousand, we get a mass of 0 0.005 kilograms, all right? So the net force, zero newtons, is equivalent to F push plus F gravitational, which is pictured here as being equivalent to the mass times the acceleration due to gravity minus F normal. Notice that we're assigning the upward direction as negative and the downward direction as positive, all right? So therefore, we can begin to plug in some values. Well, our F push, we know we're told that John pushes down with a force of two newtons. We already converted our mass, as I previously mentioned to you, to 0 0.005 kilograms. And we're approximating the acceleration due to gravity at 10 meters per second squared rather than 9.8, because on the MCAT, you're not allowed to use a calculator. But for those of you who are really good at math, go ahead and use 9.8. Um, I probably wouldn't just to save time. And we still don't know the value of our normal force, so we're still subtracting F normal. Now we can go ahead and multiply and add. All right, so 2.05 newtons minus F normal is equivalent to zero. And if we add the normal force to both sides, uh, eliminating it on the right-hand side and adding it to the left-hand side, we get that F normal is equivalent to 2.05 newtons. So this problem wasn't that difficult. It's just very sequential, and you have to be neat with your um, conversions from grams to kilograms. Therefore, the final answer is going to be 2.05 newtons. Answer choice C. All right.